Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. It is time to get down and dirty with some wine. Yes, when Wine Access Magazine, Canada's preeminent uh, wine source, gave out their awards last year, one winery came above all the rest. Uh, they were Winery of the Year and a couple of individual prizes for uh, their select wines as well. We are very happy to be joined by Howard Soon. Master winemaker, Sand Hill. Hello, congratulations. Uh, thank no you mustache. I saw your mustache Cheers. earlier. I wanted it. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was another generation ago. <laughs> and congratulations. Uh, first mm -hmm. of all, this must be uh, a wonderful recognition of the work that you I do, am, Sand Hill. I'm thrilled to death. You know, this is our year, I guess you could say, you know, to win Wine of the Year and to win the best red wine in Canada and best white wine in Canada as well. Thanks. No other winery's ever done that, actually, in the Not Canadian winery. Not too bad. Well, stuff. tell us a little bit about Sand Hill and what sure. makes the winery a little bit different. Sure. Um, no other wine brand does what we do, which is that every wine that you have is uh, from a single vineyard. So that is only from one piece of land. And, you know, most laymen understand that. They say, oh, yeah, that makes sense. You know, grapes right. come from... Wine comes from grapes, grapes are grown in vineyards. Isn't that what is, everybody does? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but most wineries don't tell you where the grapes are grown. They don't tell you whose vineyard it is and where the soil is. And most, most wineries actually blend the vineyards together because it's easier and, and makes the wine actually less distinctive but sometimes better tasting. Right. We believe in, in showing the distinctiveness of where the grape is grown. Well, let's start with this one and maybe sure. you can walk us through uh, because we do have a dirt sample mm -hmm. for each wine. Maybe tell us a little bit about this wine and sure the dirt. Thing. We'll get down to the dirt. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's get so that's dirty. our King family vineyard that you see, the soil there, mm -hmm. and it's kind of heavy and dark. Yeah. It's got some clay in it. It's uh, been grown for four generations of farmers, and they, these are the, fir the fourth generation of the, king of the kings, Rod and Marge, the first ones to grow grapes instead of apples. They chopped all the all trees out. There's 40 acres, so yeah. it's a major that's undertaking. The rest of the family yelled at them for, I'm sure, a little while. <laughs> it was a go. bit of a risk. Uh, but you have to, mm -hmm. I, I mean, there's this term in wine and, and, and terroir, but terroir, yeah. I always assumed that it was only the soil, but you were telling yeah. me it's, it's significantly more than that. Yeah, it's a French term, but it's the only thing we can, we, the word we can use to capture what this is about. So it's, it's a sense of place that you taste in the wine. And that sense of place encompasses where the grapes are grown, the vineyard. It also encompasses the soil, the climate, the rainfall, the sunlight, the heat, moisture, uh, knowledge of the grape grower, knowledge of the winemaker. So there's no, uh, nothing, nothing changes yeah. within all that no, formula. It's really. been like year that for year. centuries, actually. <laughs> so no. we're going to taste this Pinot Gris right now. Mm. So what should we be mm. looking for on the nose and when we sure. taste it? Okay, this is a beautiful Pinot Gris. It's grown in a very cool area. In the, it's just south of Naramata in Penticton. So we smell it. You get this really nice, intense, ripe apple smell. Mm -hmm. Very you? fresh and crisp. Fresh, yeah. good. I love that. That's what we were after for you. And that's oh, why okay. it's got a small <laughs> screw top on it, actually, because it keeps the wine fresher. How's that hit you? It's delicious. Oh, nice. that is lovely. <laughs> it's refreshing after a long it show, really too. It is really refreshing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's hard today. You know what? I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm just going to sit here and sip on this <laughs> for the rest of it. Now, we've got a couple more we're going to mm -hmm. talk about here, and let's uh, move through them. What is this one sure. uh, here? This one is our, is our white wine, the one white wine of the year. Best, best white wine in Canada. Uh, it's a and Viognier. it's a Viognier. Viognier. We, let's, why don't we dump our glasses up? We'll try that yeah. one. Why don't we? Well, okay. I'm, I'm in. <laughs> so what I, would we be looking for? You can save that for later if you like, Mike. Okay. <laughs> You'll be drinking it all. What do we look at? How, how is a Viognier different from Ladies the Pinot first. Gris? Viognier is quite different. Pinot Gris is uh, also from France, and, and Viognier is too, but they grow in different areas, and they respond differently. This is actually growing in the hotter part of the Okanagan Valley. This is in the Oliver area. And you can see subtle differences uh, yeah. even in the uh, in the soil a little yeah. more. You can see it's more sandy. Yeah. Feel it up. Feel it. Uh, get your fingers in there. Feel it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's kind of gritty. You're soaking it. Yeah, and it's got a little bit of uh, sticks together. It's got a little... We're actually going to try to get Fiona to taste the soil first, then taste the wine. I've never known to cruel. eat dirt. That would be cruel. Uh, for uh, tell us what we should look for and what's different right. from the last one. It's a tasted. beautiful floral smell. Isn't it? It's like flowers or yeah. perfume. It's less fruity. Yeah. Less fruity uh, uh, like apple or citrus, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's more, um, like I say, floral driven. And I swear that it almost smells a bit like, a bit like sagebrush. Doesn't it smell a bit like sage? I've <laughs> never tasted <laughs> no? I like sagebrush. It. Yes, I Yeah, sage. I know the smell. Well, yeah. you know, it's a spice in turkey smell, yeah. right? Little herbal, really herbal, yummy. isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. And the, the the judge, they they actually captured the judge's comments. Oh on this wow! Award and it says, I could hardly stay in my seat when I smelled this. Wow! Wine. And that's why we're standing up, right? Yes. That's inc <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. It does have mm -hmm. almost a, a little bit of a spice to it mm -hmm. uh, in the flavor as well. In the mix. Right. That's really really isn't that nice. Yeah. And it's not sweet. You think very it's gonna be sweet when you smell it, but it's not. It's very smooth. Yeah. I okay, need to down a whole bottle. I never know. Oh well, let's <laughs> let's do it. Okay, now <laughs> let's move on to work. The reds here. We've got Absolutely. a lovely Merlot. Tell us about this one. Just one more. This Merlot. <laughs> See, you can't let go. I know it's a shame to dump it out, isn't it? 
Well, you yeah. can save that glass now because we're not going to okay, use it. Okay, yeah, I'm going to put that oh, right that there. I'm coming back to the onion. You like that? Mm -hmm. uh, what are we on? I this think is you're the a red wine I am. Oh, see? <laughs> it appeals to you right away, right? It does. And that it's means we've fulfilled our mission. We've done what we wanted. Absolutely. Uh, tell us about the Merlot. Well, this is lovely. It's got this beautiful, ripe plum smell to me. Mm -hmm. okay? Red fruits, plums, uh, even a little bit of raspberry, but mostly plum. Mm. Which is I, you know what? You can really mm -hmm. actually see a huge difference Kenya? between, uh, especially uh, with the Pinot Gris and then into the Syrah as well. You can see the I dust mean. coming off it when yeah, you Yeah, a lot more there, sand. Right? So this is a yeah. much drier, hotter area of the... Uh, it is. It's almost close. To, you can see the U.S. border from there. Yeah. That's how far south we are. And, and a lot of people have never been there would not understand yeah. that. But they say, guys, that's how far down we are. Amazing. That's why it's so hot. So a yeah. lot drier area. Yes. We have bears that come in here and try to eat our grapes. Uh, <laughs> rattlesnakes. We have a lot of rattlesnakes flitting around and deer that like to eat our grapes. Amazing. Can you mm -hmm. predict, I mean, uh, I mean, obviously year to year everything changes, but do you have a pretty good idea of what's going to come out uh, based on what you've experienced during the year? Um, because we worked with these grapes for so long, you know, uh, this, this vineyard was planted starting in 1987, so <laughs> that's a long time. And yeah. so, you know, but and our grape growers, I, I think I was telling you that before, you know, um, Robert Goltz, uh, Richard Cleave, and then uh, Rod King, been at it for years. Yeah, uh, long decades. Ago. Well, yeah. before I was, I'm not saying before I was born, but uh, <laughs> no, I've been in the business 30 years. Uh, Richard's been in the business about 35 years growing grapes, and, and Robert's been about 25, 26 years, something like that. And I know they're going to punch me out when I get the wrong, wrong number. <laughs> but that's how long they've been at, and longer than anybody else in the yeah. Okanagan. So those kind of guys, they've seen it all. Yeah, so mm -hmm. they understand what's going to exactly. happen during the year. Yeah, huge trust for me. In, we in have to quickly do. touch on this one here. We uh -huh. don't have a lot of time, but okay. uh, tell us about this one. Um, that one's a Sand Hill One. Uh, the the award-winning red wine of the year was a Syrah from the same vineyard. This is only a little seven-acre vineyard in, in Richard Cleve's front yard. So if we have a minute, we should, really? try, should try that if you want. Oh, if we have blend. a minute. Okay, ah. uh, we'll let It hurts you me every time I pour something out. Pour it. Uh, thank sure. you so much, Howard. And if you want to okay. pick up uh, okay. some Sand Hill Wines, yes, they are the best. It is official. Sandhillwines.ca if you want to find out more. Cheers to you. Congratulations and to the winery. once again. Congratulations. And we're going to tell you that okay. tomorrow... On the show, uh, Mikey and I got the chance mm. to visit Bob Rennie's new art gallery in Gastown and get a private tour, and uh, it's absolutely incredible. And Mike is not paying attention, so I will let you know oh, that Vancouver-based oh, sex therapist Tisha now Martin will be telling us how to become more intimate with your partner. Another bottle of wine, Mikey. You might have a chance. <laughs> I wonder if wine plays into it. It must. Uh, we're going to leave you with uh, a song from Thornley today. They're playing Saturday, January 23rd at the Commodore. The song we're going to leave you with is called Make Believe. We'll see you again tomorrow.